Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Need Safe Out. We are jumping in again and I'm going to go as another run as good old Swindler, um, my boy. And then I think we'll move on to these these fine folk. Apparently this guy's had a pretty big update recently, so there's a lot more to see as him, so we will indeed do that. Uh, why don't I have any hegemony credits anymore? I had like thousands of them before. What are you on about, game? Um, give hegemony underscore credit... 5,000. Love that noise. <laughs> it's struggling. It's struggling. I think it's done, though. Is it done? Maybe it's done? Probably should have done this before the episode started, you know. But, hey, her. Right, once my character finally decides to be able to move... Oh! Something has happened. <laughs> I may have just destroyed the game. Please don't, because the game takes quite a long time to boot up, so I'd rather not have to do that again. But yeah, for some reason, all my hegemony credits disappeared. I had like 3,000 or something, so I don't know where all they went. Oh, come on, game. Don't be like this. We just started the episode, man. Maybe I should have given myself like 2,000 rather than 5,000. Apparently 5,000 was a little bit too much. God damn. So anyways, how have you lot been? How goes the the gaming? What have you been playing recently? It'd be interesting to know. I know that you guys are excited for more Gungeon videos. I'm glad to be back doing them. So it'd be interesting to know what you guys are playing as well. See if anyone's playing Gungeon right now. Because I'm not. <laughs> what have I done? Fuck's sake, game. Why you gotta be like this? Just, it's so easy to have hegemony credits. Fuck you, game. Oh, oh. I, tr I tried to task manager it, but it... It started loading, I think. Nah, I think I think it's buggered. The cursor did move, but only very briefly. Oh! It's moving again. I'm just going to spam escape and hope I can get back into the game, see what happens. It seems like it's, it's slowly but surely catching up. Oh! We're out of the menu now. Maybe? <gasps> Here we go. <laughs> the return. Ah, yes. Breaking the game media. I didn't think 5,000 would be that big of a deal. I thought 5,000 would be okay. The game's chugging along. I think we can, I think we can go without, uh, go without restarting. I think we're just gonna have to wait for this to do its thing. <laughs> oh boy. How, how do I cause you? There you go, look. Give me those. Right, anyways. Let's get into this run and actually play the game. Only three minutes into the episode. Brilliant. Three minutes of just sitting there doing nothing. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Right. Let's continue on. Yeah, like I said, uh, have you guys been playing Gungeon recently? Have you been playing modded Gungeon recently? We need more people to, like, play and slash cover on YouTube modded Gungeon. That would be nice. But yeah, this guy, we had a good time as him last time. He's, uh, he's a pretty, pretty good chap. Pretty good chap indeed. Now... This guy's going to be a little tricky with our current loadout here, with our shotgun. And actually, okay, it's got just about enough range. I didn't think it was going to be quite enough, but apparently we're Gucci. We're all good. But yeah, last time we actually managed to do pretty much a no-hit run all the way until the forge, at which time I basically biffed the whole thing and just uh, ate dirt for a while. So hopefully this time we don't have the same luck, although... In the first few floors, I definitely want the same look. Just later on, I don't want the same look, is what I mean. Do you know, I've, I've been I've been enjoying um, watching a TV show recently that I just, like... Basically, I'd, I'd completely forgotten this TV show ever existed. I, I watched it sort of in my prime time of TV watching. Basically, when when I formed my, my current... My current sort of views on TV in terms of what I like. Like, when I was in my sort of early teens and watching TV, basically, which just was watching whatever was on. I was watching it around that time, and it was just a TV show. I just, I watched back then, I thoroughly enjoyed, and apparently just completely forgot it existed, and then, <clears throat> in a random Reddit thread, like, the other day, someone mentioned it, and I was like, oh, shit, that's a thing. So I was like, oh, let's go see if I can, um, <clears throat> let's go see if I can find, like, some clips on YouTube. 
Turns out someone's re-uploaded the entire thing every single episode on YouTube for free. So I can just go watch it all on YouTube, which is awesome. It's called Rules of Engagement. It's just like another sort of typical American sitcom. It's nothing special, but it's like I've got nostalgia for it. And I, I, it's still it's still pretty funny. I still enjoy it. Um, and yeah, I'm like re-watching it now. And I'm like, damn, how did I just forget about this completely? How did I just like never touch this again sort of thing? It's actually pretty good. And it's like... One of it was one of the shows that I watched a lot um, when I was younger. Ooh, Little Munchy, Wingman, and Baby, Baby Good Chance Ken. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Wingman here. I think Wingman's a pretty good one early, and he costs the most, so he's got to be good. But I still stand by the fact that I think that that NPC shows up on this floor every single time, which personally I'm not a fan of. I think that um, while I do think some of the NPCs are a little too rare. I do think having a one that's guaranteed every floor with stuff on sale for half price is a little bit strong, but it's fun. It's, it's, it's more stuff to showcase for modded videos, so in that respect, it's not bad. But I think for average gameplay, it's it's, it's a little bit too strong. Um, but anyways, we'll uh, we'll see how the rest of this floor goes. But yeah, Wingman, I, I, I rarely get. He's a vanilla item, of course, um, but fires rockets for us. It's pretty nice. It's a good bit of extra damage when he actually manages to hit things. Which is not so often, as you can clearly see so far. He's uh, not doing a great job already. He keeps kind of just shooting the wall. But we won't, we won't blame him. He's uh, he's living his best life. But we got quite a lot of sacks this uh, this first floor this time. Sometimes we get unlucky with the sacks. The times do a lot better, and this time I think we're doing pretty well. And in here we've got Pox Cannon, which I could reroll, um, but I don't think it's worth it. Right now, um, I think we'll uh, hold off for unlocking our chests and so on and so forth. Yeah, it's killing one of these guys in one hit, Wingman. That's pretty good. Even Bullet Kenny kills in one hit. I didn't kind of expect that. Yeah, good, we've got this room available if we want to go to jungle, which honestly I think I do. There's more chests available and this guy only requires money to open the chests. I can't remember if it's 20 or 40 per chest. I think it's 20. But I, I don't don't hold me to that. I might be wrong. Yeah, if he had spectral, like if he could shoot his rockets through walls, he'd be just mega. But unfortunately, he cannot. We'll go and find our chests now and, and see if we can whack those guys open. Hey, thank you, thank you. It's forty. Okay, so pretty pretty expensive actually. Um. Pretty expensive. Let's do, let me just check out. I'm pretty sure these ones are 20 though. So let me just do that. Let me just move these out the way. And then. Just wait for this to disappear. Come on, fire. There you go. I just want to quickly check if these are 20 or 40. This will help my decision making. These are 20, okay. So that, that makes my decision a little easier. Um, also, th this weapon, perfectly fine. From a red chest, it's not the best we could have got. But it's perfectly fine. I wish I would have gotten some... Got it. Gotten something modded instead, but... We can't always get what we want. Yeah, unfortunately, Wingman's not going to be super useful here, because he's going to just biff his shots into the wall pretty much every time. Boom. It kind of seems like the um, the mini missiles do like two instances of damage. Was not expecting that. That's still 40 as well, though. We'll see if we get any more sacks from uh, from killing stuff, but I don't know. 40 is actually quite a bit. Uh, so how much money are we going to have left after we spend 40? We're going to have 29 left. So we'd need, we need 11 from this boss to make this work. That's provided I don't get hit at all, which is also a possibility. I need to not get hit, because if, if I get hit, I drop money, so... That's not going to be good. What did I just say? Yeah, that's, that's a lot of money gone, so... No. <laughs> no, thank you. I want to go to the, um, to the what's it called, floor, and I can't be getting hit twice on the boss. That's just all of our money gone and it ruins everything, so, no. <laughs> I should have just opened the gates when I had the chance. Uh, why am I so stupid? Anyways, we roll it back again, because, yeah, I'm not, not happy with that. Not happy with that at all. 
Like, there's a key that gives us quite a bit of money. Yeah, kind of, kind of rough to have to play the whole first floor and then redo it. We'll actually get to see what the consumable shop's got on offer for us. Um, the, the, the companion shop, should I say. If it's still there, which I believe it will be, but we'll see. Another one of those bad boys. Thank you. I don't know if they ever got changed to scale the amount of money they give based on the, the health pool of the enemy. Or if they do just give a flat rate. Because if they give a flat rate, then we're getting buku bucks from those little dudes. Right, shop this time is going to have lots of keys and then also... Um, Abedo, Ab Al Albedo? I don't know what Albedo does. It's one of those items, there's like, there's like a, a, a bunch of those little little ones that are in the pots. I don't remember what they all do. I remember them being good. Maybe, I, I feel like they're immunity, but I, I also don't think they're immunity. Hello, Glass Gwanstone. Nice of you to spawn in. But yeah, not having Wingman it does sting a little bit. You know, having to, having to throw away Wingman like that, but I'm sorry, but... I need a better first floor than that, and losing all my money to the first floor boss is just, uh, pathetic. That doesn't fill me with her, unfortunately. Does not inspire me. Hey, look at that, baby. Maybe it does look like they are giving less, you know. That didn't seem to give me that much. Right, hold up. I need to actually watch how much I get off one of them. The boss is there. Good, good. That would have been a good speed run route, that goddamn. That would have been quite lucky. I think that's one of the god gens. God, back in the day, I used to speed run this game a lot. I went through a phase of like... I, I really got into learning the speed runs of this game. Like, I, I learned all the different map generations to the point where... I could basically know exactly where to go on any given run. It, it, like, there's still a little bit of randomness to it, but you could... Basically, there's like six or seven different types of generation of each floor. Um, and you can kind of learn it off of that. Radigan, pretty nice. You can kind of learn it off of the back of that. And um, once you learn it, it becomes pretty predictable and pretty easy to sort of work your way through the floors. Um, and I did get a really, really good time. I was at one point third in the world, but... I think it's since been lowered to um, somewhere around like 10th or something. Uh, it's annoying because the room was the room was like pretty good, but it could have been so much better. I just I fumbled on one of the floors and I I basically picked every which wrong way, and it's a real shame because I really could have had like a sub 10 minute. I think I think it was like 11 minutes 13 or 19 or something that my time ended up being, but it, it could have been sub 10 minutes if I'd not fumbled that floor. And oh man. Oh man, it would have been absolutely beautiful if I'd have done that. Yeah, we did get her again, so she is a permanent fixture. Um, chicken flu. What's that? I don't know what Angry Spirit is. So I'd rather take Angry Spirit. Honestly, I think Skeleton Baby is an absolute bag of shite, but he's cute, so we'll take him. Aches to kill, but cannot generate its own bullets, merely copying the firepower of its owner. Sounds interesting. And I'm just going to destroy these chests. Oh, wait, can I reroll this shop, too? Oh, my lord. That's pretty interesting. I can. Bit of junk there. And we shall radgun it up. Six radgun levels should be suffice. I think sort of eight is where the game tops out and starts to make it really difficult. Honestly, maybe good Shelton's doing a pretty good job on a boss, to be fair. I won't disrespect him for that. Ah, bloody hell, I missed it. Ah, bloody... A four is enough to make this work. Okay, that works. More keys, that's good. Sir. Sir, sir, sir. Let's try and re... A chicken flu is good, but I'm going to try to re this into something more interesting. Oh, I did the fucking glitch again, man. I really wish that would get fixed. Give casing... Um... 150. 
Yeah, okay, we're just buying chicken flute then, I guess. So it's annoying, but it is what it is. The bug with barter where it sometimes just eats all of your money at once. It's, it's kind of annoying. But anyways, we got all the familiars, which is why I'm saying it might be a bit strong. I mean, obviously this character typically is going to be able to afford more than other characters, so it's not as crazy on other characters. But still, the fact that they're half price means it is easy to get at least one of them, and I think that's pretty strong as it is. Right. Let's keep this going. Probably uh, rad gun it up. There you go. And probably one shot most things with a rad gun at this stage. But um, I goddamn love the music on this stage, man. It's so good. Don't worry about that hit. It was foolish. It won't happen again. Boom, da -dum, da -dum. I could also destroy all these trees to uh, get some stuff from them as well. I can't remember if swapping lowers your rad gun level or not. I think it does. Something's telling me that it does. Whack. Yeah, let's just use the shotgun for now. Rad gun's like, uh, it's good, but it's a bit annoying to keep up. Destroy the trees, my boy. Destroy the trees. You know you want to. We need better weapons for uh, Angry Spirit to, to proc off of. So I think he fires our bullets. And at the minute, he's firing a single shotgun pellet, which is not very useful. At least he seeks enemies out, though. That's, that's kind of nice of him. Die, tree. Oh god, that was kind of close. Maybe I treated you too harshly, baby good shell. And it's just the fact that he's S tier. Like, just... He's fine, but he's like... He's like B tier, I'd say, at best. He's, he is good, but... For the price I paid for him, I'd, I'd say he's pretty good as well, but... Nice. Obviously, we're looking for as much money as we can get our hands on here, because there's three chests to open, so we need at least... At least 120. And that's 120 that we keep and don't lose. Good, good. First chest is coming up. Hey, it's energy chest. Hey, and we got a synergy as well. Shot Grub with Monster Blood. I can't remember what this one, this synergy does. It's good though, right? I know that the Shot Grub synergies are generally pretty decent, so maybe we can make this work. Maybe we have Poison Immunity as well, so it makes it a little more usable. Oh yeah, yeah, this, this is the one that's really good. It just adds Herming. Which makes it supremely accurate, essentially. Yeah, this is this is this will probably carry us for a little bit here. I very much like that, and it's really ammo efficient as well when it's got herming. When all the pellets hit, its damage output is actually pretty good, goddamn good. But yeah, if any of you ever tried speed running, I, I I really do enjoy speed running games. I've done it with a few games. Um, probably my best speed running game. It, 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 to be fair, it's probably this in terms of like performance wise. But this game has a pretty small community in terms of uh. Oh, but I, I tried my I tried my luck with that there, and it was a bit of a gamble. Oh, for fuck! Don't! Oh, you fucking sacks of big old shit! I. Oh. oh man, I hate it. I hate myself. <laughs> so easy to fall into that pit of trying to get your money back, Just constantly getting hit. Um, but yeah, like my other sort of notable game that I speed that I did speed running is I did, I did quite a bit for Doom Eternal. When that game came out, that, that was a lot of fun, man. That game was so broken. <laughs> that game was so, so broken, and the speedruns were really fun. Speedruns were really, really fun. And I actually, I actually like, discovered some of the uh, 
some of the interesting tech in the game that ended up being used long term. I um, I spent quite a while like trying to look for basically using other people's strategies and trying to implement them in different locations. And I, I found I found a few pretty pretty good setups. Quite a few of them ended up being like outdated in terms of like newer, faster methods were found. But like at the time I was speedrunning, there was a few methods that I discovered that um, that everyone was using, and I think there is still a few that are still in the speedrun now. Um, but like one of them in the last level, basically the, the there was a glitch with um, what am I doing? Using the wrong gun. There was a glitch with Doom Eternal where um, if if you were uh, if you like went off a ledge and sat in the grace period area, essentially I can't remember what it's called now. It's not grace period. Basically, there's a there's an area where in video games in, in, in most sort of first person shooters and platformers. There's this area where if you walk over the edge of a ledge, you won't actually fall off until a little bit after. It'll give you like a grace period because because you're in first person, the perspective uh, makes it difficult to know if you're over the edge or not. So to make it easier to not just fall in pits and die all the time, they give you a little bit of leeway. But if you if you stayed in that area and then you and then you'd like jumped. You could jump like multiple times while you were in that little area, which meant if you bound your jump key to like a free scrolling mouse or a script that, that spammed jump as many times as possible, you could like stack a bunch of jump inputs and then they'd all execute at once. So you could like, you open your weapon wheel to slow mo the game, input like thousands of jump inputs, then let go and it would launch you into the sky. Um, and it meant you could get over a bunch of different barriers and stuff like that. Um, and like in the very end level, I found a really, really cool skip that let you skip the entire, t like the, the entire level. A skip had already been found for that level that let you do something similar. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. Uh, a skip had already been found for that level that let you do something similar, but it was, it was fairly slow and it took kind of a while and it was a little bit finicky and you needed like a, a pretty high amount of skill to achieve it every time. Whereas the one that I found was like a bit faster and way easier to perform. Um, and it, 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 it took you on like a, what's this? Um, reduces spread by 75% and increases damage by 50%. Most bullets become lobbed bullets, which can only deal damage to enemies when landing. I also gained a controller here as well. On use, the item is thrown, dealing 20 damage to anything it hits. Okay. Ooh, this is, this seems, seems funky. Let's give it a go. <laughs> seems awful. Oh, what the fuck is this? How are you meant to deal any damage? Yeah, this is, unfortunately, absolutely unusable. Interesting idea, but without specific, like, explosive weaponry, I just don't see how it could ever be used, so... Apologies for dropping that straight away, whoever made that. Cool concept, but I don't think it's actually legitimately something anyone should use in a run. It's just kind of a gag item that shows up every now and again. Lovely. My god, game. Do you know what? Do you know what? Where's that item? Is it still there? Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be there anymore. No, it's not. That would have been an interesting concept to have both of these in tandem. I'm wondering how this will work with uh, with Herming. I don't think this item gives you anywhere near big, of an, big enough of a damage up for how kind of awful it can be. I can't tell if the Herming's still working or not. I think it is. Chicken, I'm trying to use you as a shield. Please let me do my work. Oh, for God's sake. I don't have any blanks left. What the hell did I use my blanks on? Oh my god, I'm getting so fucking tilted right now. Fucking stop getting hit, you mongoloid. When I say that, I fucking mean it. Don't just get hit again. Ring of vampirism, are you kidding me? Okay. Anyways, to the next floor. This is a weird one, baby. This is a real weird one. I'm not sure what to think here. I'm not sure what to think. Oh my god, I got so many Discord messages. What's going on?
I don't want to earth in this program. Fuck you. Come on, game. Oh, what the? it's all tabbed out. Okay, there you go. My controller wasn't working for a hot minute there. Don't know if I'm going to keep warp bullets. Yeah, I think warp bullets for how difficult it is to use should maybe be a bit of a higher damage increase. Like 75% is like, like plus 75% is like, it's not even double damage, man. It's, 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 it's really hard to use effectively. Like, I'm pretty sure like all of my herming is gone, you know. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. Nah, I don't know. Seems to need to get really close to enemies to hit them. It's doing an okay job with Herming, but without it, it definitely kind of is, is impossible to use. Okay, shop. Hello, hello. Cat bullet thrown is a big yes from me, thank you. I like flight, I like bullets, and also they get what bullet too, which is kind of fun. Kind of fun indeed. It's weirdly working right now. Weirdly working. Fortunately, I am a situation is pretty much fine right now, so that was a wasted ammo drop, but hey her. But yeah, having flight gives us immunity to fire now as well, which is nice. Hello, hello. Another synergy. Oh, hello. Crown of guns plus cat bullet thrown. I usurper. Let's go have a look what that does. Um Crown of Guns Gunjun. Usurper. If the player has cat bullet thrown, the crown fires more rapidly and also automatically charms bulletkin and veteran bulletkin while held. Nice. This could be actually pretty nutty with uh with this, yeah. Now if I got homing alongside this, this would be real wacky. But this thing might be it for a while for us. Oh dude, my little my little bullet dude, my little anger guy is there uh, just walking up to enemies and shooting them, which helps. I don't know if he does our bullet damage or what, I'm not quite sure how that works. Hello, hello. Gives health, take double damage. Oh, that's very nice. Um Gain a hexing familiar, lowers reload speed, increased damage and gives you thorns, but you'll lose health each floor. Wicker Heart is definitely gonna be good, because we can't really take elemental damage, so I think we'll definitely try and buy Wicker Heart. We'll come back to it when we've got enough money. Dude, my, my anger dude is actually kind of amazing right now. He's just firing directly at people at high speeds and killing them. A bullet can already been charmed is rather nice as well. I like that. Having some enemies just die straight away is uh, preferable. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Not a mimic. Unfortunately, we're pretty low on money right now because we uh, spent a lot on the crown. Not the crown, you know what I meant. Oh, hello. I can get a fold wicker heart now, which is good. This is kind of crazy. Can these bullets go away? Thank you. Okay. I do want the Wicker Heart, but we should try and see if we can at least afford the uh, green chest at 40. This is wacky. I'm liking it. Go, my chickeny friends, go. I just wish I had like, an accuracy up so this was hard, easier to like hit more shots, although I don't even know if that would technically work. There you go, though. We need ammo for this thing pretty regularly, though. There you go. Stun gun. And we didn't get enough well one casing off, are you kidding? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's enemies in here, isn't there? Or maybe not. Explosive birth. I don't really think we need that. 
I'll take that. The contract killer boy is kind of nice to have alongside us. And he's, he seems to have gotten an update. He's got a sniper now. He used to have an AK. Oh, that's annoying. Um, I think I'm going to take some cursed items here instead then. I'm going to take the Wicker Heart for some HP. And I'm also going to take the Withering Rose for some damage and stuff. That's not much damage at all, to be fair, though. That, that, was, that was less than I was expecting. Much less. Oh, was that a secret room back there? Yes, it was. Danka, danka. Right. To the next floor. What a weird room we've crafted for ourselves already here. What a strange, strange run. And yet again, I've got more Discord messages. Oh, come on, game. Don't be like this. There you go. Yeah, I gotta say, we went from 1.75 damage to 1.90. But I take damage every floor. It depends how much damage I take every floor, I guess. And I'm on how that entails. It's just as, as I enter the floor, I don't think I took damage then. What would be ideal if I just spawned in the middle of the rooms? Holy shit. <laughs> There's some chaos going on in this room. What the fuck? Mental. Also, that sniper guy is going to confuse the ever-living shit out of me. Dude, he's useless. Do you see this? He's firing spiral shots as well. He's fucking useless, man. Hey, at least my chickens are on the case. Oh, wait. When he fires them, my angry guy, my angry spirit does sometimes fire a... Uh, a sniper shot, and he does. For some reason, the while the sniper guy does does get our bullet effects, the angry boy doesn't. So, kind of an interesting, weird foible there. Useful, certainly. More ammo is perfect because I want to use this thing forever. chest that we can't currently afford. Can you kick it? Yes, you can. Wow. We are killing some stuff quite fast. I, I do like that. <laughs> My sniper. Look at the little spiral bullets. I love it. If he if he barrel stuffs, he's, he's not too bad, but he doesn't always barrel stuff, so doesn't always apply. Unfortunately, at the minute, we're not getting very many uh, money sacks, so our money isn't exactly where we'd like it to be. I would like to have much, much more than I currently have. Uh, whatever this is. Overkill Capacitor. When killing an enemy, half of the final damage instance is transferred over to the nearest enemy, a capacitor that was accidentally made by the necromancer trying to fix his computer. Kind of interesting. So basically, on kill, half the last instance of damage is transferred to the nearest enemy. That's actually pretty good. That that could be a pretty good knock-on effect with uh, basically being able to wipe out full rooms pretty darn quickly. Ah, oh, fuck. L at least I have, like, no money on me right now. Because so I'm going to get hit by this a few times, yeah. My brain can't comprehend challenge rooms like that. It just doesn't work. It does not compute. War Mimic there. There was also some money on the floor there that I completely missed. My bad. What the fuck is this thing? Fires at birds that return to the user after hitting an enemy. Shooting enemies projectile will destroy it and cause the birds to home in on that enemy with increased speed and damage. And return to the user, birds will attempt to retrieve any additional projectiles belonging to the enemy. Restoring ammo if successful. Very intriguing. Go, my birds. That is super fucking cool. <laughs> now, I think they're not returning because of the wacky, wacky bullets that we've got. But that is really intriguing. Bullets, can you just get out of the way? Thank you. Heck blast that, I don't even know how this works. I have no idea how that works with this setup. But yeah, the birds could be kind of useful on the boss, maybe. 
Oh my god, the amount of damage we do is insane. <laughs> The amount of damage we do is ludicrous, baby. This weapon with this synergy is uh, pretty top notch. Okay, good. Oh, another sack. Need to. Maybe I've missed quite a few of those. I'm just not watching out for them. It'd be nice if there was like a little noise when they dropped or something, but I think I'm being having wishful thinking. Right. Shop, unfortunately, is also worthless. We do get the NPC shop. This one is common as well. Ooh, I'm pretty sure Coin Crown has a synergy with this, right? Let me just let me just go check that. Coin Crown. If the player has Coin Crown, chance to spawn money upon clearing room is doubled. Yeah, we could probably try and buy that then. Uh, so what, what do you want for that? You want a B tier something or other. What do we have that's B tier? Do we have any weapons that are B tier? Uh, I think Heck Blaster is actually. Yeah, baby. We've also got Nano Boost, which is A tier. I don't know what Nano Boost does, but Baby Shelaton, I could give you away. <laughs> I'm tempted by it. I certainly am. I'm going to do it. Right, let's see what's going on here, so... We got it. Nano boost. Temporarily boosts speed, damage, and defense. A chemical mixture of literally just electricity and extremely sugary cereal that causes your central nervous system to temporarily go crazy. Normally a trained medical professional would administer a small dose, but you just take the whole thing at once like freaking addicts. <laughs> I actually gave a roundup of what it did at the end there, like a full description. One use increases movement speed, damage, and gives three orbitals. Okay, cool. That sounds very nice to me. And honestly, I love you, Shelaton, but this was a worthy trade. I like, uh, I like good old Nano Boost here. Increases speed by a lot. It increases damage by a lot as well, actually. So this is pretty gnarly. Don't know how I wasn't hit there, but okay. I don't know why it just says Nano Boost at the, end, at the bottom of my screen there for the whole time, but they hurt. Kind of a little hard to see what's going on. Beautiful stuff. Ammo, please. Yes. I'm sorry, but the crown. The crown takes the crown. Right. I think that shop is one that can show up every single time and be pretty fair because you do have to trade things of equivalent quality. It's basically just like a reroll machine. But the other shop on the first floor, especially with it being first floor, I feel is a little bit too good. But yeah, this thing, Nano Boost, gives a 50% damage increase. It also seems to recharge relatively quickly. I'm just going to basically spam it whenever it's ready. So, Also, I really like the fact that it gives you just a boatload of speed. It's quite nice. Unfortunately, it didn't last too long there. Unfortunately, also, we now have to deal with this room, which, with our current bullets, is uh, gross, to say the least. Can the beanbags please just die so we can deal with the real problem here? Okay, that, that was good. Go beanbags die. Yeah, <laughs> my sniper's getting things on occasion. I love that. On occasion, he gets some stuff. It's nice. Oh, dude, there's so many of these things. Come on. Some of the enemies are fizzling as they die. I'm not quite sure what's causing that. Maybe it might be something to do with nano boost, but it wasn't enabled then, so maybe not. Maybe it's my sniper assassin boy doing that. Good. Good money right now. Let's try and keep it that way. More beanbag fellas. God damn it. In they come. 
Luckily, there's not much getting through this. Where'd you go? There you go. Normally, you get, we're getting it for about the, the, the length of one room, by the looks of it. I think it's pretty common for it to last a room. Which is pretty good. Extra HP there. I'm glad that we've been getting top-ups for ammo for this thing pretty regularly. Go on, my chickeny friends. I know you miss your Shelaton buddy, but he's, he's, he's become something much better for us. Oh, that thing's gonna... Yeah, that thing's gonna eat all my fucking bullets, so... Uh, glad it's moved away. Dude, stop it now. I'm getting sick of this bullshit. Stop eating my goddamn money. That's my money. Where the hell's our chest at? I feel like I'm missing something here. <laughs> a lot of distance to go to not find our shop or chests. Must be right here. There we go, yeah, it is. Hey, space friend, hello. Another one to add to the crew. And then we've got you, hello. Accuracy syringe. Damage syringe. Damage syringe. Thank you. Thank you. Seemed worthwhile to me, that did. Seemed worthwhile to me. I'll buy some syringes from a from a strange man in an alley. No doubt, no doubt. I don't know how the accuracy one's going to play with this, but we'll see. Normally, accuracy ups are very good for this. But um, with the weird and wacky tiers we've got, maybe not as good as normal. Also, Space Friend is firing wacky shots too. Gotta love it. I'll save this charge now for my boss, I think. Oh, hello. You're new. New and intriguing. And we get ourselves a B staff. That has to reload, interestingly enough. Okay. I'm sorry, but the crown takes the crown. The crown will always be king. Look at the speed at which I can kill things with it. And also the fact that I bas basically don't have to aim is quite nice. No thank you, good sir. And shop, what do you have for us? That's pretty intriguing. I will come back for you should I get enough money, but I'm not sure if I will. To be fair, actually, I'm just going to sell some guns I'm not using um, right now and then come back for you. Um, just because I think that could be really interesting with this setup. Go in here and test it out. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. All right, that's cool. I'll try that out at some point later on, but for now, it's this. Speed run of that boss, pretty much. That was insanely quick. Hey, speed boots as well. Lovely. Right, we are running out of ammo now with this bad boy, so we might have to use that saw blade gun pretty soon. Don't know if I'm going to do uh, bullet hell, just because I genuinely don't have a ton of time for this episode. I only have like an hour, and it's like 44 minutes right now, so we'll see what time we're at when, we're, uh, when we get to the dragon, but we might not be able to. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We shall see. This episode's already late. I'm, I'm recording it way later than I should have done. Hopefully the last floor doesn't take forever to load like it normally does. Seems like it's actually sorting itself out right about now. Maybe? No. <sighs> I made some pizza dough earlier. I've, um, 
I've invited my sister and her boyfriend around tomorrow for uh, some locale pizzas. We're still on my diet, but we want to eat bad food, so we're compromising. Having a cast iron means that you can make some pretty goddamn good pizza, and not that high a calorie. It's like 550 per pizza for like what what is basically like four slices or like six smaller slices, which is pretty good. Nothing crazy, but it's something special, something a bit different. Oh, there you go, baby. It just keeps it rolling for us. The Black Betty. These two are just the same gun, but one of them's black. What the hell? <laughs> Imagine Hyper Light. Like, that, that should be a challenge run. Hyper Light Blaster, but you have this. This uh, corrupted bullets item. That'd be absolutely insane. I like the fact that you can, I can basically drop my bullets off and then carry on. Another controller, hey? We're getting a lot of controllers here. Broken control. Let's at least see what it does before we throw it on the ground again. Use while dodge rushing to cancel dodges into wave landings. That sounds really interesting. Um, interesting. Of course, obviously, not what we need right now, but interesting nonetheless. A lot of kaboom in this room. lot of kaboom in this room. Okay. Just gonna keep it moving. Yeah, I guess so he is basically... The angry spirit is taking care of a lot of stuff for us, and that's kind of the way we need it to be right now. He fires so fast because of our fire rate that he's able to kill most things pretty easily for us. It's rather nice, actually. It's rather nice. Boom, bow. Where are our boss at? We've kind of gone in a big old loop for no reason here. My bad. I, I want to make sure I have, like, as much ammo as possible for the boss with, uh, with this weapon. Oh, did you see that then? One of my dickhead little followers pushed that jam guy into me. Pretty fucking rude, I gotta say. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, this thing uh, doesn't work the way you'd expect it to. Oh, for God's sake, man. I mean, I don't even know what to say, man. But this is pretty interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say I quite like this. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty wacky. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this thing for a little while here. Unfortunately, I do have to use it backwards. And it does seem to suck enemies towards me sometimes, which is... Not ideal. Oh, man. Okay, thanks for that HP, because I've been eating dirt a little bit there. <laughs> I like it when it hits the ground and does the little spinny. <laughs> it looks so stupid. Ow, okay, I've walked right into that guy, apparently. Oops. <laughs> I really like this. It's really dumb. Okay, let's just go straight for the boss. Um, yeah, we want these two set up as our main guns here. This seems to be able to do a pretty good job. Use the chicken. Use the chicken. Oh my god, I'm getting hit so much here, but it's fine. We are on like 50 minutes now, though, so I will probably leave it off here. Gotta love the chicken, man. Gotta love the chicken. Beautiful stuff. That was a very interesting run. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, getting corrupted bullets and having some sort of synergy that makes it work is delightful. 
Ooh, I love following this wave there. That was really interesting. But yeah, it's really nice. I think I've got flight in here. No, I don't. Okay. I just have the cat pull it through and stuff going on, but I don't actually have the flight that comes with it. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy yet another Gungeon episode. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.